I think it's time for another mailbag. So let's see what we've got. The first item is this extremely well wrapped um, box. So let's try and get into this. Uh, it looks like we have a power supply. Um, I think I know what this is. So this is a extremely high quality laser galvo scanner. So it looks pretty amazing. So we can use this as an upgrade to the uh, laser driven asteroids. Uh, it does use quite a funky um, connector to uh, to drive it. I did find a driver for this online that uses a Teensy and I think one of these parcels Yep. So I've ordered a Teensy because I found some software online that will drive this pretty nice laser galvo scanner and the software runs on a Teensy, so I'll be trying that out later. So that's pretty exciting. I'll put this somewhere safe because it's pretty fragile. And let's put that over there along with the power supply and cables. So what's next? Right. Another box from China. Aha! So when I was doing the magic mirror project, I thought I had broken my driver board. So I ordered another one, thinking I would need a replacement, and then found that the driver board was actually completely fine. So this is a another driver board for an iPad LCD and I think since I knew I had ordered an extra one I found a very cheap iPad one display on eBay I think this this cost 12 pounds so I think that's what this should be Very nicely wrapped. Let's have a look what's in here. Certainly no shortage of bubble wrap now. So I have another iPad 1 LCD to go with my spare driver. So I'll have to think of a, another project to do with a, an LCD. So I'll uh, add that to the list of things to use in a project. So that's quite good. I'll uh, let's wrap this back up. And I think to go with that, I've ordered 
another Raspberry Pi Zero. So maybe I'll just make another magic mirror. That could be a, a fun project. So what else have we got? I've already unwrapped these, but um, this is a pretty interesting microphone. So the IA611. So this um, has built-in wake word detection. So if we have a look at, um, let's have a look. So there's the actual microphone and the microphone has a built-in DSP and it can do wake word detection. I'll need to work out how to actually interface to this. And um, bizarrely, I've somehow ended up with two of these. So two microphones with wake word detection, which I'm not really sure how to use yet. So that's probably a, a project in itself, just understanding that. So let's put that to one side. So what's next? We have some um, screw headers. Now I think these are to go with some PCBs. Let's, uh... Yes, we've got a box from PCB Way. So let's have a look at what we've got in here. So, slightly bigger box than usual. Um, let's see. Okay. Ah, nice. So these are some little amplifier boards. So I've been using the Adafruit um, amplifier boards, the Max 98357, and I thought it'd be nice to uh, have two of them so we can do stereo sound. And these little um, these little screw terminals. Hopefully, if I've ordered the right ones should fit right about uh, which way around does this yeah right about here so yeah that's uh, I think that will fit nicely uh, one one speaker two speakers and these should be pin compatible with the Adafruit boards so hopefully I'll be able to plug this straight into my audio PCBs. And I think if I'm lucky, I should have all these uh, stereo amplifier boards. So I think I ordered 10 of these maybe? Or just got one, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've also got some new audio boards for plugging these into. So let's see if we can get into here. So these are version two of my um, my audio boards. They just make it slightly easier to wire everything together so you can just plug the, the microphone and the um, amplifier and a tiny pico and I've broken out the header pins now to make this slightly easier to use so these little amplifiers will plug straight into this board and we'll have a um, stereo output which should be pretty cool so that's uh, thanks PCB way PCBs and SMT assembled boards so that's brilliant. I'll try these out in a later video and we'll, we'll see if I've actually done the PCBs correct. So let's, uh, let's try that out in another video. And then the last, last thing I've got, I've actually no idea what this is. Must have ordered something and forgotten. So let's have a look. Up. 
Ah, that's a lily go. It's a lily go something. Let's see what uh, what lily go we've got. Ah, cool. So this is a uh, paper display from lily go. So I wonder, um, yeah. Pretty cool. I have to find a uh, a good use for this. I think it's I think it's showing something at the moment. So yeah, brilliant. So any suggestions on uh, on what to do with this would be much appreciated. I've got some buttons. Let's see. Buttons don't do anything yet. I'm sure we'll uh, we'll work something out. Well, that's pretty cool. So a paper display. Um, I wonder what size this is with my ruler. So it's pretty it's pretty big to be honest. Seven by four. So brilliant. So that's gonna be uh should be a fun project to do something with this. Looks pretty full featured. So we've got an SD card slot. Um yeah, pretty cool. So yeah, that's, uh, that's a few projects to get on with. I think the uh, we'll probably do these PCBs um, fairly soon. So these are if I can get in. Okay, some of these ones. Oh, these are just um, some blank ones. So if I feel like trying to solder some of these, I'll, I'll give that a go. Um, but I think I'll stick to the uh, PCB assembled ones. So let's have a quick, quick look at these again, just to have a look at. <laughs> Bags are tough. So yeah, let's see if I can get that in focus. So uh, that's pretty, pretty cool. So good job PCB way. So I think that's probably it for the mailbag. I think that's everything. We'll have a look at this, um, these uh, microphones as well. Let's try if we can focus. So I'll, I need to work out how to connect these, but I'll um, I'll work that out slowly over time, um, which will be fun. Got another another display to do a project with, so I'll uh, I'll have a look at doing doing something with another iPad display. Maybe I'll try and make a a Pi Zero laptop or something, or um, or maybe I'll actually try and connect it up to my ESP32. I've seen a few people doing VGA projects with the ESP32, so that might be quite a fun project. But uh, let me know what you think, and I'll see you in the next video.